Well, good morning. What a difference a day makes. It's uh, Tuesday the 10th of May and I'm now fishing on Goodrich Court on the River Wye. Last night we had a big storm and lots of rain and today it's sort of like changeable. There's uh, nice sunny spells and then it really comes in. Uh, there's a bit of an upstream breeze again uh, uh, on the river and so I'm just going to see how we get on. Um, really difficult to find this uh, fisherman's parking area for this beat. I have to say that uh, the Wyanusk Foundation should really start using uh, what three words uh, like a lot of other fisheries in Scotland do. Um, yeah really difficult to find. Fortunately I was able to speak to the resident Gilly um, uh, who ha was able to help me um, with some better directions than what was on the website. Right, so here we go. Cheers. Oh, by the way, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. If you've got any suggestions or feedback on how I can improve this channel, uh, I want to do the best I possibly can uh, for my uh, people watching. And uh, I mean, this is a hobby. This, I, this is not my living. I'm not intending to do it for that. Um, but, uh, you know, what can I do to improve it? What would you like to see more of other than me catch more fish? But also, um, you know, how can I improve it? What could I do better? Also, if you do have some uh, suggestions on um, what I'm, when I'm fishing and uh, if you've got any suggestions on flies and various other things, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Uh, all creative and constructive uh, feedback and suggestions are welcome. So this pool is called the V. You can't see it on the camera, but where I'm stood, you can see the channel of water going down, and it's a quite an obvious sort of like channel. Also, yesterday, when I was fishing on Dean and Chapter, I was using a different mount for the GoPro. I wasn't wearing my life jacket because I was really staying close to the banks and so I used a different mount and what I realised is my arm was getting in the way uh, every time I was doing a cast it was getting in the way of the camera so hopefully um, with the uh, now that I'm back on the life jacket and the life jacket mount it should be uh, shouldn't get in the way too much this is like the uh, there's one pool above me but access to it looks pretty difficult and this has got a pretty defined uh, sort of like well not really well defined but certainly some steps and a muddy bank leading down to it and clearly people have fished on this before or come down this way before the beaten track so to speak uh, so yeah we'll just um, I'll start from here and work my way down initial impressions of this beat are that uh, a lot of the access seems quite overgrown but we'll, we'll kind of see how we get on a bit later on. weather's really changeable today I think I said earlier so walking up here to the top of the beat I've already had one really intense shower and now we've got um, it's just like light rain and then it goes really sunny and hot and then light rain again <laughs>
into another pool called the Rocks. However, the and it's just getting deeper and deeper, and I just don't know because I don't know the the river, of course. I don't know if I want to go any further, but I can see there's another area directly over directly over there. I don't know if you can see that with the camera, but that is another bit called the rocks where apparently fish should just be roughly where the end of my line is right now. <laughs> he says. Still, I'm glad I put the plan, glad I put the full chest waders on. Doesn't seem to be getting any deeper. Ooh. Love it. Love it. No, I was thinking that this, uh, my Shakespeare Scandi rod was going to be too long for this river, but in actual fact it isn't. Uh, in the beak guide, which is a pretty good beak guide actually, it describes that there's a bank of stones coming out and the fish just sit roughly, if there are any, where my line is now, just drifting round. Uh, and so the key is to cast to those stones. Oh. <laughs> you won't see that, but there's just like a little minnow just jumped right in front of my feet. Honestly, <laughs> honestly there was. Not into my net though, not that I want to catch one, but yeah, so kind of cast to those stones there and then let, let it drift, drift round. Now what I'll do is I'll do a cup one without a mend and then do one with an upstream mend, upstream, upstream mend just to slow the fly down a little bit. It's still quite quite deep, I've just gone up one size in, in uh, a fly. Probably got that wrong as well. I've just gone for a bigger fly, okay? Doesn't make any sense. Why is a size 14 uh, hook smaller than a size 8? Don't get it. Well, have I got that right? 
God knows. I'm wearing my novice salmon fisherman uh, fisherman's badge with pride. <laughs> I, mean, I, I do my best to try to learn what every fly is called and what this is called and what that is called, but I mean, um, in a way I'm, I'm a bit like a person, I just, I buy a car, I drive it, I don't know what each part number is called. Does that sound a bit ignorant? Not sure. So I've moved down now, changed my waders back into something a bit more summery and I've moved down to what's called the Maddox. I'm guessing that's just these rocks are called. It's like a stream, it doesn't look very deep but I'll just give it a go. Quite close to the end of the beat now. I'm going to reserve my judgement until I finish this beat but a lot of it is overgrown and when I make comparisons between uh, what I've been very fortunate to fish over in Scotland or up in Scotland this really yeah doesn't really compare to be honest oh out of nowhere this breeze just took my line it's <clears throat> a lot of uh, a lot of flies around Got a green algae in the river as well. <coughs> Almost looks like it could do with a flood just to kind of wash that through. Still, I heard something jump there. The trout. Blemenac. I think I want to be keeping the be keeping it sort of like along this side. 